So the Ripple vs SEC court case could be seeing even more delays guys. This is not what you wanna hear. What is up guys, welcome back to your daily source of news on all things crypto and make sure you stay till the end for my XRP price prediction. In today's news we have XRP at 0.7564 down 2% for the past 24 hours. As we can see XRP has been on a slight downward trend for the past 24 hours but that is following a pretty pretty insane price down here on the 14th after which uh, XRP held its value pretty nicely dropping slightly here in the past 24 hours. I think we will bring that back no problem but going to the current situation with the court case now Ripple vs SEC XRP lawyer sees more delays in the case. The long running lawsuit between the US SEC and Ripple is set to reach a major breakthrough this week. The two sides are scheduled to propose a schedule for a summary judgment on Friday. But Ripple attorney James Filan highlighted that while Ripple will likely push for a faster schedule, the SEC is bound to buy for more time. Filan noted that the regulator has repeatedly attempted to delay proceedings and recently succeeded in, in gaining an extension. Proceedings much slower than Ripple wants. Filan believes that the SEC will continue its trend to delay the proceedings in the case. He said it would come as a surprise if the commission agrees to the motion without any obstacles. However, if both parties can agree to the conclusion, then it will make the proceedings easy for the court. The crucial lawsuit has already seen much delay in the proceedings. Meanwhile, the reopening of the expert discovery until May 13th over Dr. Metz's report and the defendant's rebuttal report filing has been added to the delay list of the case. Attorney filing hints that both the parties uh, will somehow summon each other's reports. The revised reports are expected to be part of the summary judgment process. A quote by James K. Fallon here, I don't think we will see a schedule that contemplates briefing beginning in June. I think that a more realistic timeline for summary judgment motions would be opening briefs in either July or August, says James K. Fallon. Fallon expects all briefings over a summary judgment to only be filed by October or November. He added that Judge Torres... Sorry guys. As he added that Judge Torres, one of the judges proceeding over the case, also has a complicated process for filing motions for summary judgment. Uh, so class, ax class actions against SEC to benefit from XRP case. John Deaton, a lawyer representing XRP holders, said that the pre-motion letters filed by the SEC will be important for both sides. The letters could provide ongoing class actions act, uh, against SEC with more information on what to review. Deaton said that there are around 16 experts in the case, however if the parties ask the judge to waive the pre-motions letters then the lawyers will have to wait or figure out a way to gain additional information. So guys, not surprising at all to see that uh, the SEC is once again trying to delay the court case. As we know, the court case is going heavily in Ripple's favor and they are uh, doing whatever they can, uh, the SEC is doing whatever they can to delay it further. Uh, but guys, I think currently is a pretty, pretty decent time to be investing. Maybe not, not as ideal as here on the... 10th through 15th of Mar uh, April, sorry, but definitely a pretty decent uh, state for investing right now as well. And I think uh, we will be go seeing a pretty, pretty significant price hike when the court casing is concluded and you don't want to miss that out. So that's it for today's news, guys. Come back tomorrow.